project soft sounds, right? So uh, it's a kind of, there's a lot of psychology that goes into this or let's say communicative intention that goes into this because when you play something like extremely personal and private, which is what you want to set up, you know, it's the grief of a death, because this is an elegy, um, and yet we're playing for a public. Yeah. So it's, in a way, how to project intimacy, mm -hmm. right? Um, and uh, I sometimes uh, relate it a little bit to a, an actor on stage, like a stage whisper. Whispering, but it's not this kind of whisper. Right? It's the kind of whisper that you throw out to the back of the hall. Mm. Right? So um, this, the things that that have to do with the projection of sound, primarily are bow speeds for soft sounds, bow speed and contact point, and how those two mix. Right? So if if we get up here might be very soft under our ear but we're not throwing it out so we have to take that sound and get this feeling that we're doing this to it that see this my bow speed is a little slow but if I just moving the bow a little faster, right? And something which I think you feel instinctively well, but a, a lot of uh, people miss, is that the other part of it is that you have to have a core. There has to be a center, a bottom, a resonance in the sound. So if we play like this, then there's, there's no inside to the sound. I think that's louder, but it's there's a center to the sound, which I think your instinct takes you there anyway. So try it very soft now and see if uh, I would say, pretend you're in Carnegie Hall and your mother's in the last row. Mm -hmm. so, uh, even move it faster so it goes out. sounds like on a microphone, but I think we will be able to hear the difference. Let's try it. Yeah. So, just so that you remember the feeling, put the bow up. I think what you feel here is that the arm is very suspended. So you're actually lifting, aren't you? But the ear is listening for the core. So, so it's not that, but there's some bottom in it. That doesn't mean it has to be louder, right? And then you move the bow to throw the sound to the back. driving at there? Am I just talking about intonation? Um, not as much intonation, but also finding the notes that naturally resonate with the instrument. And right. With the other string. Because for projection, we need the resonance. So for, for a, a little bit, let's say you were a little sharp, which is what you were. There's still good resonance on that note, but yeah. that glow, that kind of give spin to the note, that's what makes it go, go out and project. Okay, yeah. very good.